Hello dear friends, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. Today we are going to attend a practice mock test. This is the second part. So if you didn't attend the first part, you can check my video playlist. You will get it there. So without wasting time, we can start it. everyone welcome to NS Pharma YouTube channel for pharmacists. If you like the video please make thumbs up and click the subscribe button and bell button for notification. The rules for this mock test. There will be 10 multiple choice questions. You have to attend the, all the questions within 10 minutes. For each right answer, you will get positive 4 mark. For each wrong answer, you will get negative 0.3 mark. For the blank answer, you will get 0 mark. So the total questions will be for 40 marks. The procedure for this one. First, I will read the questions along with the option. Then I will give a 10 second right answer. After 10 seconds, I will display the answer. I will show the answer. If any explanation is there, I will explain. Then I will move to next question. This is the procedure. After reading full questions, you have to add your total marks and just comment the total mark you obtained. So we can start. The, the first question of the series, drug is not under the seed class which of the following drug is not under the seed class naxomica isfagula strophanthus digitalis it's time to write the answer The correct answer is digitalis. If you wrote the digitalis, you will get positive 4 mark. If you wrote another one, you will get uh, minus 0.33. If you are not attending the, this question, you will get 0 mark. So we will move to next slide. Nexfomica, the source, biological source of Nexfomica is dried ripe seeds of strictness Nexfomica. For the ASAP gula, dried seeds of plantago ovata for strophanthus dried ripe seeds of strophanthus combi you can see here all these three are belongs to the category seeds and the last one digitalis which is consists of dried leaves of digitalis purpurea digitalis purpurea dried leaves of digitalis purpurea so we are going to next question. Question number two: Alpha methyl dopa is primarily used for. Alpha methyl dopa is primarily used for pregnancy induced hypertension, endovascular hypertension, first line agent in hypertension, refractory hypertension. It's time to write the answer. I will give you ten seconds. The correct answer is pregnancy induced hypertension. The drug of choice for hypertension during pregnancy is alpha methyl dopa. Question number three the following contain live attenuated vaccines except the following contains live attenuated vaccine except options are rubella, hepatitis B, yellow fever, measles. You can write it down your answer. The correct answer is hepatitis B. Hepatitis B, all others other than hepatitis B are live attenuated vaccines. So, for some examples for live attenuated vaccines are MMR vaccine, that is measles, mumps, rubella, 
rota virus, smallpox, chicken box, yellow fever. We are moving to the next question. Question number four. In aerosol regulations of dose, in aerosol regulation of dose is concerned with. In aerosol regulation of dose is concerned with propellant, actuator, metering valve, dip tube. The correct answer is metering valve. If you write the same answer, you will get the positive 4 mark. If it is wrong, negative 0.33. If it is blank, 0. So the components of aerosol, you can see here in the right side, the picture of uh, aerosol. You can see actuator, propellant, as well as uh, uh, the product, dip tube, can, everything. So the dose of regulation of dose dose regulation is concerned with metering valve that's valve propellants they are responsible for developing proper pressure within the container which will provide driving force to expel the product from the container commonly used propellant is chlorofluorocarbon cfc actuator which helps in delivering the drugs in desired form that is spray or form etc question number five word pharmacognosy was coined by gallon settler berg hippocrates the correct answer is settler the word pharmacognosy was coined by Siddler. Question number six. Bone forming cells are osteoclasts, osteocytes, osteoblasts, osteobonds. Bone forming cells. It's Correct answer is osteoblasts osteoblast question number seven membrane filters are made from membrane filters are made from cellulose asbestos kisselgar porcelain the correct answer is cellulose membrane filters are made from cellulose Ceramic filters are made from Kisselgar and porcelain. Sitz filters, sitz filters are made from asbestos and cellulose. HEPA filters is made from asbestos. These all are important. Ceramic filters are made from Kisselgar and porcelain. Sitz filter is made from asbestos and cellulose. HEPA filter is made from asbestos. Membrane filter, we already studied, it's made from cellulose. Question number 8. Slugging process is used in which of the following preparation? Slugging process is used in which of the following preparation? Options are capsule, tablet, powder, ointment. The correct answer is tablet. Slugging process is used in the tablet formulation. Slugging is a pre-compression process. It's a pre-compression process for the formation of extra large tablet which is called slugs. The resulting slugs are then broken down into granules. Then again they are recompressed to obtain the final tablet. That is slugging. Question number 9. Copper sulfate IP is assayed by. Copper sulfate IP is assayed by. Options. Iodometric method. Iodometric method. Gravimetric method. Acid based titration. Write down your answers. The 
the correct answer is iodometric method copper sulfate ip is assayed by iodometric method examples of compounds which are assayed by iodometric titrations are iodine copper sulfate chlorinated lime and sodium thiosulfate gravimetric method barium sulfate magnesium trisilicate this barium sulfate and magnesium trisilicate is assayed using gravimetric method ammonium chloride is uses acid based titration method for the assay ammonium chloride uses acid based titration for assay the last question of this mock test magic remedies act to as pasadin please note magic remedies act to as pasadin options 1954 1955 1965 1995 it's time to write the answer the correct answer is 1954 magic remedies act was passed in 1954 this act that means magic remedies act prohibits advertisement of drugs and remedies that claim to the have magical properties this act that is magic remedies act was came in force on 1955 the act was passed in 1954 but the act was came in force on 1955 Thank you for watching this video and subscribe my channel for more videos and also press the bell button for the notification and please uh, write down your remarks in the comment section below. Thank you.